Hey everyone, it's five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Let's go ahead and share everywhere. We share to It's So Sweet to Learn, So Sweet Academy. Ooh, this light is bright. Brown, where'd that go? Brown D. Brown Nose Craft looks wicked. My chaotic embroidery. Um, teaspoon of sugar. Beginner. Machine embroidery for beginners. Rose Vile and more. How are you all doing today? Embroidery. B E M B O I D E R Y. Bows. I don't know why sometimes I don't see that one. That's just for the bows. So I'm gonna stop there because I can't find the other ones. Sometimes I have a good good um luck and they come right up, and sometimes I don't. But there are 20 of you all on here, and I don't want to leave you all waiting. So welcome. Let's see who we have. Hey Marla, hey Tammy, hey Zaranda, hey Yvonne. Hey, Starla. Hey, Angela. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jamila. Hey, Belle. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Susan. Susan, do me a favor. Tell Mike I got his message. I just didn't get a chance to message him back because um, I was about to hop on here. Hey, Kim. Hey, Belinda. Hey, Valissa. How are you all? Hope you're having a good Sunday. So... Guess what? I was like sitting around getting ready to um, go live. And I'm like, why am I so sleepy? Then I remembered I like almost did not go to sleep last night. I didn't go to sleep till almost four o'clock in the morning. Why? I don't know. I was just up and just pumped for some reason. And like, so I made like a TikTok. Y'all, I've been learning how to do TikTok. Hey, Don. Hey, Andrea. Um, I've been learning how to work TikTok. And it's kind of fun. So... I did a cute little TikTok and then I shared it to my Instagram and I got like 2,000 views already. I was like, what? Booyah. So if you're not using TikTok, um, start using TikTok and learn with me. But let's get this party started because um, it's just time and then I'm going to probably run to my mom's house afterwards and, and take a nap. I'll go to my mom's house and take a nap. Hey, Margaret. So, in the, I guess, spirit of Mother's Day coming up, hey Shorty, in the spirit of Mother's Day coming up, I figured we should continue doing some Mother's Day type items. And right now, the easiest thing that I've found, um, I love TikTok for everything. Really, Dawn, do you do, I need to find you on TikTok and follow you on TikTok. If you are on TikTok, post your, your TikTok handle thingy here and let's follow each other so we can find each other and share our stuff and, you know boost our likes and all that stuff but um so i'm all about the spa stuff right now and mother's day is a great um holiday to do a lot of the spa stuff because let's pamper moms and if you're a mom you want to be pampered huh i know i do so last week we did the wine um or the olive oil this is so bright how you my light is bright back there hold on Let's see if that helps. <laughs> if you say panties. I'm not. Um, Jeff, I'm not. We're not doing any Mother's Day panties, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. We're not. But <laughs> I know that's not what you thought we were going to say. Um, but, so you know, remember we did this last week. It was the applique um, letter from 
apex design super duper easy we did it on a single needle we're gonna be back on the single needle machine today um, and then I think next week since I'm going with the spa theme the, the things I'm gonna do next week is most likely going to be on the multi needle okay so this is a ooh, that. this is a spa wrap okay it's a waffle spa wrap you know like the waffle spa robes this one's a wrap they sell these many 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 places online um i think you can get this one from amazon and well you can get one like it from amazon and then they have these on like different wholesale sites but they come in a multitude of colors i have this white color and i have gray i was going to do oh yo guess what time out commercial break um in my tutorial class on friday which went very well i haven't posted about it yet but i need to um they made me pick a date and stick to it so the d stash is going to be on friday at 7 30 so i want to, that's the 23rd right friday the 23rd at 7 30 in the it's so sweet to learn group i'm going to do uh, my d stash i will probably drop some little hints and some little cookie trails like i did i did one the other day of what i'm going to have posted on there and i'm still working out how i'm going to um, list the items Etsy was an option or either just posting it and letting you all put your email address under and I process the shipping but um, but we'll see I, I have it until Friday to figure it out so tune in if you want to help me de-stash and um, you guys can restash while I de-stash but um, all right and scene commercial break over back to the regularly scheduled program we are doing the spa um, thing here at the bottom and I figured it'll be cute to put like an initial. So there are a lot of things you can put on it. You can do the word relax. You can do the word um, spa. You can do your last name. You can do the whole name. You can do an initial, any of that stuff. And you know me, I like tone on tone when it comes to, what are y'all laughing at? Are y'all laughing at me? Someone's laughing at me. What did I do? What did I do this time? Um, but I like tone on tone stuff and hey jan i haven't seen you in a long time um but tone on tone i think is really elegant looking in my opinion so i know it may not show up okay it may not show up to the naked eye like from a distance and everything but when you like here up on it it is so cute y'all have have y'all seen like i think ritz carlton has tone on tone um a lot of these like spa places they do tone on tone Hey Delphine, um, email me. I was I've been trying to get in touch with you. Email me. Let's set up a better time. Um, or DM me. DM me. Don't email me. DM me. Um, but let's do tone on tone. And I'm gonna do just the initial. I'm gonna do like a big R. It's gonna be a little bigger. It's gonna be um, less than four by four. So it will fit in your four by four hoop or your five by seven. So let's get started. Cause I'm about to just talk y'all's head off. Because what I think I'm trying to do, I think I'm trying to keep myself awake here until I can get to my mom's house to get this nap that is coming to me. Because, whew, I don't, I don't know why. I just was up and could not fall asleep. I probably should have messaged a couple of you all that are up also. Probably should have just been like, hey, what are y'all doing? I probably go live. Oh, I should go live because I have a lot of people that are overseas. And you all are up, just hanging out. So let's go ahead and use, this is a tearaway, but it's kind of a thick tearaway. So it's kind of like a, I, I don't want to say it's a 2.0, but it's a little more, it feels a little heavier than like a 1.5 or something like that. So in the way I know is because I tried to tear it and it, it gave like a little um, frizzy tear and it wasn't as easy to tear as some of my other thin ones. So let's see if I can get you all to look down here without showing all my messy background. Because what I didn't do when I could not sleep last night was clean. I thought about it. I was like, I should clean my house. And I was like, man, that's no fun. All right. So. I'm not sure why my table is BPA free, but let's move that sticker. What do y'all see? Do y'all see? Okay, so let's go ahead and hoop it really quick. 
And y'all, I'm gonna do this the really, really, really lazy way. So if you are not used to, um, y'all wanna hoop it? Let's hoop it. I haven't hooped something in a while. Um, but I, if y'all are used to, or if, you, I mean, if you're not used to like eyeballing it and you're still a beginner, don't don't be like me, be better than me. Cause I'm, I'm really about to just do this a super duper lazy way. Okay. Super duper lazy way. Hack number one, I'm going to spray my stabilizer. Then I'm going to lay this right down on top. Okay. What I like about this, it has my lines. So these lines are pretty good. This is well made. When you find a product or an item that is, um, it says can see good. Okay. Um, when you find a product that's made well, a lot of times it runs along the lines that that um, it's that the pattern is. So this is made pretty well. So okay. And then I'm just gonna make this in the corner. Hoop it. Yo, I am like totally eyeballing this. Alright. If you need to, move it over some. Let's see. I know a lot of you are like, but Alexis, I'm not good at eyeballing. If you're not good at eyeballing, grab your um. Sometimes you gotta unloosen that. You gotta loosen that to get it to go down better. All right. And then I don't usually stretch this much. Like you don't wanna, once you get it in the hoop, you don't wanna stretch it at all because um, this is like the waffle. And if you stretch it, it's gonna stretch out that little waffle um, feel that it has there. And then you'll kind of be able to look. Let's see, how did we do? y'all that's I, listen y'all did good y'all done good all right no lines no nothing um i probably could straighten that a little more but i don't i don't really want to pull too too much because i want that i want the little waffles to stay there I'm gonna hold it up just to see. Y'all okay with that? Are y'all all right with, with that? Alrighty, let's go to the machine. Where's the machine? Oh, look y'all, so that was the stitch that we did for the, um, for the tutorial, we did a tote bag, it was super cute. All right, so wait, what are you doing? I don't want to. I want to, there we go. Cancel pattern. All right, so let's start over. Let's get that coming up. Um, I thought we did exchange the late night chat. Oh, then darn infomercials. So let me tell you what happened, Don. We were, we were, yeah, yeah, we were chit chatting last night. Quite funny. Um, but then I fell asleep on you for a moment. But then that's when I woke up and I was like up until 4 a.m. And um, when I messaged you back, that's that's when I was up and stayed up. So, yeah. But next time I will know. Next time I, I will keep messaging you. All right. So let's find the design. I'm going to put an R. That's our G from last time. Let's put an R this time. Why an R? Oh, y'all, I'm getting in trouble. My mom said, poor grammar. I don't know what I said, but something must not have come out right. Everyone say hey to the grammar police. Hey, mom. All right, so end edit. This, we don't, since the R, it like, the size of it takes up pretty much the whole four by four hoop. Um, we're not going to have to move it up or down. So that's why when I hooped it on here, I put it pretty far down to the bottom of where I wanted it to go. Okay. Okay. Now 
Now, we have enough bobbin on there. I'm gonna just slide it on. Make sure you have everything out of the way in the back. And then since this has like that little waffle feel to it, I'm gonna grab my water soluble stabilizer. My water soluble, yeah, water soluble stabilizer. And then put a little on top. Put a little on top. Y'all, I hadn't found these in a while. Got my unicorn scissors. So I will be, um, I'll be here next weekend and we'll do the next part of a Mother's Day type situation. And then the following Sunday is when I won't be here. But then I think I'll, I think there's like one more Sunday before Mother's Day or something like that that I'll be back. And on that Sunday is when I want to like construct everything and like put everything together for the Mother's Day gift. Forever. Does anybody else fucking take it forever? I promise I'm not stalling. All right. So, oh, thread your needle. Let me thread your machine. Put on your spool pin. That didn't go so well. All right. Grab this one. Brand new one, so we gotta. There we go. But what are y'all doing today? Are y'all having a good day? Are y'all having a relaxing Sunday? I had a good relaxing Saturday. And then today I met up with a friend and. Um, Gathered, what's going on here? Gathered school supplies. For some teachers. Hey, Wendy. Um, bonnets, ooh. So I have a really good bonnet. I love my bonnet right now. All right, embroidery, because remember we're not, well, let's, let me show you. So we don't have much room. Well, yes, we do. Oh, you know why we do? We have room on the hoop, because see, it just stops right here, but it's not gonna let us take it down anymore. If we had our five by seven hoop on there and we needed to bring it down a little bit, it would let us, but I'm gonna leave it on the four by four. Um, I'm content. If it's not broke, we won't fix it. All right, embroidery. And then it's an eight minute stitch. This is, no, that's why I was stalling because it's a short stitch. And that means I won't be before you all live. It's just eight minutes. So we had to drag this out somehow. This is a big piece. Let's not, let's not waste all this. You can either, you could hoop this with it. You can tape it. You can pin it. Let's pin it. I'm gonna pin mine real quick because I don't have any tape close by. Um, if you choose to pin it, just do your major sections. I'm gonna do the top. And then the bottom. I think I need unicorn scissors. You do, y'all. I got these unicorn scissors off of Amazon. I love them. They're cute. They're like iridescent. Is that the color I'm looking for? The name I'm looking for? They're super cute. All right, so I think we're okay with that unless my corners start pulling in. here y'all something happened there 
just gonna pin that corner there. We should be safe. All right, uh, what else do I do? Sometimes I change my tension, sometimes I don't. I'm gonna change it today because this one looks like a pretty dense um, stitch. Green means go! Fran said, I float water soluble. Is there an advantage to pinning it? So this is basically floating it also. The, the advantage that I have or the advantage that I feel there is to pinning it is it doesn't like pull together. If it pulls together while you're stitching, then it'll leave like bumpy areas. All right. Um, but I have sat here and babysat it the whole time before, but I didn't because I knew I was going to be on here talking to y'all. And I didn't want to have to um, keep looking back at the machine. Uh, when you determine you need to solve it, how do you determine if you, if you need to solve it on top or not? So if it's kind of plush, sometimes I I just say, okay, if it's plush, obviously if like, it's a towel, um, something a little fluffier, I will put the water soluble. Um, I've even gone thicker, especially if it's something like a sun hat. I've used that thicker water soluble. But this in particular, it does have a little bit of a fluff to it, like because of the little waffle area, and I didn't want it to sink down in there. I've also done it with cotton t-shirts because it just helps the stitch to stick up better, to sit up higher and pop. I've done a couple of projects with it, a couple without it. I always like it. I've even, even on a, just a regular, uh, not plush or, or what's the thing I'm looking for? Like canvas or something. I have used water soluble on top because I like the way my stitches came out a little even, a little more even. Hey, Shakia. Okay, Delphine said, I have a quick question. I was embroidering a towel. The bobbin ran out. Now the bobbin's showing on top of the color. Then I started back. Uh, when I started back. And, oh, you're frustrated. No, don't get frustrated. Can you answer that on live? So, um, sometimes, that, and that happened to me Friday when we were doing our um, tutorial. Usually, when, it run, when my bobbin runs out in the middle of the stitch, it just never fails. For some odd reason, I will change the bobbin, put it back in there, make sure it's looped around the right way, start back stitching, and it still does like what you're saying. It'll show up on the top. So I just go in one more time. I rethread it. I also rethread the top because, for, I don't know, in my mind, sometimes it just kind of is off. So I just rethread everything. It takes a split second to rethread it and get everything back on track. And then it starts off right. If it doesn't, check down in your bobbin um, well and make sure there's no thread or anything that got cut down. I mean, caught down there, or any dust or anything that got caught down there. Or sometimes when you back up your stitches to somewhere that is already stitched over, since it has already been stitching and it could catch down in the bottom of the bobbin area because it's now thin from the um, stabilizer being gone. That has messed it up before, and the way I fixed that, I just slid another piece of stabilizer underneath, like a, a tearaway stabilizer underneath, and it just gave it some more stability. But my thing, I just always rethread the top, rethread the bottom, the bottom if I'm having a problem. Um, I saw somewhere rule of thumb if you're having trouble with it showing on the um, showing through on the bottom, it's the it could be the top thread and vice versa. If you're showing through on the bottom or the top, it could be the bottom. The bottom. I hope I said that right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Dawn agrees. She said she uses water soluble on everything. It never hurts to make the threads pop. I agree. Um, I don't know, sometimes it just makes it look a little more even. Some people I know don't use it at all. And I mean, their stuff still looks nice, but I, I wouldn't watch y'all. Listen, when I show you this, you're gonna be like, oh, I see. So, it just helps it. Hey, Phyllis. Um, Yvonne says she uses it on everything too. Mother's Day gifts. I know a lot of you all are making them to sell, but like, what about buying gifts? If you all shop for the mothers in your life that you plan to buy for her, I bought my mother's, a couple of my Mother's Day gifts today. One for my mom, one for my sister, and something for my, um, for my best friend. So, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. This font is called Julia. So when it gets caught down there in the dog feed, I, um, or the feed dogs, did I say that the, the backwards, the feed dog, uh, I usually, I usually slide more stabilizer underneath. That's all. Mainly it's because, um, the area is thin and it's, those feed dogs are pulling it down. Um, my mom lives too far away. Jeff, mail or something. Jeff, listen now, if, if you know what's good for you, mail something. Um, someone else says, my mom wants everything that, that I make. Well then, make her everything, Yvonne. Y'all, my mom thinks she's slick. Do y'all see her there? She just said, what did you get for your mom? Ha ha. See what you're doing there. I'm not telling you. I got you me. And me, I'm the gift. I am the present. It's me. Six and birds house for Mother's Day. That's, that's a really good, um, towel and brother. I don't know. I do not have it. Well, I did. Kira had some. All done. And I may just cut this off of here. Let's see. Let's see what it, cause it's thin and I didn't want to, um, let's see what it does. It's white. It's thin. And, uh, I'm back. Hello. My sisters want me to make them something. Yep, I got my sister something. I hope she's on here and knows that I got her something so she can maybe get me something. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I like getting gifts, but if not, I like the, I like um, just the family time, the quality time. Oh, there's that light again. There we go. See it? It's the R. Let's see. I got brighter. The cover 
more stitch on the back. Jeff, you're making more work for me. Y'all see what Jeff is doing? He wants to know if I'm putting a cover stitch on the back. A cover stitch, meaning like a, um, like a wonder under type situation? No, that's a no. That's a no for me though. That's it, this is, this is what you got. I love your hair. Thank you. It's getting, it's getting quite, um, it's quite the wear. I, I love braids and I just love to throw it up in a bun. So I'm gonna cut it. Let's cut it first and see if it shows through. I don't think it will. Is that a towel? Nope. It is a... It is a wrap. It's a wrapper. It's like a spa wrap. You know, when you um, get out the shower or you're in the spa. Let's see, how does that look? And this is not stretchy at all. So technically, um, the reason for the wear it don't tear it situation is because usually when you wear stuff, it has a little stretch to it. But I mean, I think this may be okay. When you wash it, it may bunch a little bit, but we'll see. Those are gentle guidelines. They're not the... All right, so I can see, I can see through it and it's driving me a little crazy, so I'm gonna tear. I'm gonna tear it away. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. I feel like I lost a lot. I mean, I missed a lot of comments. What size hoop did you use? I used four by four. Um, this machine is a five by seven, but I ordered the extra hoops because it came with the reposition. The extra hoops came with the repositional hoops that I was planning on using and never used yet. But um, use the smallest hoop that your design will fit in for best results. I may regret that you could either do that you can um, sometimes I will just tear around the outside and leave the inside just for some structure okay and then if you do find that you don't like it after you have torn it away you can still put that the iron on um, on there afterwards so Did you use no-show? No, so the reason, let me tell you why I didn't use no-show, because I don't have any white no-show. I don't have any more left. Otherwise, I would have used like the white mesh. You can kind of just cross hatch it, and that makes it stronger, um, and it makes it to where it's not gonna show through. That's another option. But if I were doing a lot, a lot of these for sale, I definitely would have just run out and, buy, and bought some, but since this is more like gifty, I'm not gonna do it. How is the under stitch done? What do you mean the under stitch? Under? So it's white. I used white bobbin and I used white thread on the top. Is that what you mean? Um, yes, Wendy, it's a robe. I tell you what I have to master. Yes, it's not it's not too hard to master it. I promise. Would a no show mesh work for that? Yes, no show mesh would uh, would work for this. It would work even better if I had some today. Friend, this is the PE800 machine. It's the Brother PE800. The font, let me go back. Let me grab this out of here. Yep, 
Y'all, who uses So What Pro? Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand where you are. I can see you. Who uses So What Pro? Anyone? So, So What Pro has updated. They updated. They updated. Um, <laughs> And I'm like lost in there. And I, I'm going to have to update some of my tutorials in the Academy to reflect the new update. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet because I haven't played around with it. It used to be... Why are y'all crooked? Are y'all crooked? Y'all lean back over. Lean over. Lean. There you go. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, so the ones of you all that don't have it yet, don't worry. This won't affect you. Just sit, sit and listen to the rest of us um, say speak our piece but um it updated the other day everything is still there I, I like i said i have not been able to tell if i love the update or not because i'm still playing around to find where everything is at it just the screen just looks completely different let me show you Y'all see that? It doesn't usually look like that. It's just different at the top. All the um, different keys and, and the the file and all that, the file home, it's just different. I mean, everything is still there. It's just in a different place. So earlier when I was trying to just hurry up and pull something up, I was lost. But the same things are there. I still love it. It's not, it's not enough for me to jump ship and go to Brilliance, although I'm gonna learn in Brilliance. I am, I am. So my file says, it's saved as Janda-Julia, is there Julia Designs? So J-A-N-D-A, and then there's like, I think it's, I think Julia is the de Designs by Ju, no, is that a thing? I don't know. This one, I've had this one for a while. Um, so everyone that says that you do have it, if you have been working in So What Pro, just FYI, if you do not know, if you haven't updated it yet, when you update, it's totally different. Um, it looks different. Not worst case scenario. If you were familiar with it before and you um, learned the keys and the buttons, it's the same thing. That's what I was thinking. So Don says it has an embrilliance look to it. So that, I mean, that might be a good thing. It might help with the transition to embrilliance. Um, I, you know, embrilliance has its, it's it's perks to it, i.e. BX fonts. And So What Pro actually has a way that you can do BX. You just have to map them. And it takes a little while longer. You have to save all your files a certain way to map it. So I don't even bother with it. I just leave it alone. I figure if I'm going to map, I'll just go over to um, Embrilliance and do that. So I ended up getting Embrilliance because I have a Mac. Okay. I use it with my PE11 program. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, that, but that's what I was saying. So, the font is called, I have it, like I said, I have it saved under Janda-Julia. I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but if that sounds familiar with how you all, if, who, who knows where that came from? Is it Designs by Juju? Is that what someone just said? It, it looks like a Design by Juju. Someone just hit the like, so I'm assuming we're we're close. But you guys, that's it. Y'all wanna see how this wrap fits? Y'all know me, I'm super silly. So I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap. So the wrap. Me with the jacket. It's been cold here in Georgia lately. So, I hope you can't see my stain on my pants. I dropped coffee on myself earlier today. Oh, y'all, I have all my hustle pants. Remember these? Okay, this just got awkward. I'm not showing y'all my butt. I'm showing you the hustle. My hustle pants. Hustle! Remember when I stitched those? All right, so this goes around you. Like so. Let's go up so. So it just goes around you. Ooh, y'all. I don't think this is going to fit me with clothes on. So it goes around you. <laughs> it's 
snug. More like that way. And then you see this piece down here. Okay, that's where I put the design at. It looks awkward with clothes on, but I mean, y'all appreciate me for keeping my clothes on. Trust me. But yeah, that's how the wrap goes. So, Janda, okay, J yep, Janda monogram font. <laughs> sing, sing in your rap. I should rap in my rap. I can, no, I definitely am not going to rap in my rap. Um, I was, yes, I remember those. Yes, yeah, see, look, and I can still fit them. Barely. Uh, thank you, Zaranda. Zaranda says it's cute. Shirley says it's nice. Where did you get the rap from? This one. Um, it says Allen Robes, but you can also get them on Amazon. I would check Amazon too. They have all, there's all different kinds of colors in these. And then there are also the slippers that go with them. I did some really cute waffle um, slippers a while back. And I believe there's, yes, there is a tutorial for the slippers. Um, in the academy but that's all I have y'all that is it super where is it super cute it's a wrap with the R on it hey Christine um, but that's all I have for today if my mom is still there Mom, did you cook? If so, I'm on the way. Y'all, do y'all ever feel like you're like eating something and you know you shouldn't be eating it? Okay, so I'll just tell you the story instead of giving you the scenario. Right before I went live, I ran to my car because I went to brunch this morning and I remembered that I had some, um, some leftover macaroni and cheese bites from brunch. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And as I was eating, I was like, oh, this has so much breading on it. I probably should not eat it. And like all of a sudden... I trip coming in my house from my garage, knock the door with my hand, and out of my hand flies the macaroni and cheese bite. Y'all ever feel like like God is telling you, you don't need to eat that? Or one of your little guardian angels are just like throwing it out of your hand, and you're like, okay, you know what? I see what you're doing here. I just, that's just not for me to enjoy. So I didn't get to eat my macaroni and cheese bite. Uh, would you please, pretty please, show one of the gingham bubbles on your Etsy page? So I don't have it right here with me, but um, that's for the D stash on Friday, but it's already up on my Etsy page. Shh, don't tell anybody. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Um, and. The picture that's there is it's um it it has like a little open open back for the babies i showed it y'all i showed it on the tutorial class i showed them they got first sneak peek and they made me they made me set a date okay um perfect project for a single day. yes i agree because it's open it was flat it's open y'all this listen y'all can do so, you you can do some major 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 spa set stuff mother's day stuff bridal stuff this is good for bridal um on your single needle and you can you can charge high premium dollar get you some nice good fonts do you some tone on tones it looks more elegant and then you can charge um make it really really pretty in a nice basket um a nice bag, a nice tote, anything, and then you can you can really you can really sell it for a good price. Y'all throw a candle with I, look, shh, not yet. Okay, not yet, not yet. Y'all y'all are sneaky. Y'all get me talking. That's what happens. Um. Jamila said she found some waffle ro some waffle bags on SNS Active. Where where did I find some waffle bags? I felt I felt I told somebody just now. If I told you about some waffle bags. 
post where I told you. I don't, I don't even remember who it was I told. Five second rule. So, Dawn, I too adhere to the five second rule, okay? That means I eat off the floor. But it was where it was at. It was like right at my entrance coming in from the garage where everybody steps in every little foot. It's probably all kind of little yeah, germs there. And then it was like the... um. It was equivalent to like if your toast fell jelly side down and then all the, the jelly stuff was to hit the floor because I, I had already taken a bite on the way back in. So it was equivalent to if like that all fell down so all the little dirt and stuff would have just gotten stuck to it. It just was nasty. That was We had to omit the five second rule in that situation. I just was like, you know what, God, I hear you. Okay, I'm just going to leave this calorie where it's at. Um... My towel turned out to be tone on tone after I ran out of bobbin. Well, yeah, because the bobbin probably showed up through the top. But um, if that's not what you, if it didn't look good, you might want to go back and fix that. Just maybe. All right. Y'all, I, I still am tired. I still look tired, but I do feel a little energized. So if y'all have a couple more questions, I'm on here for another moment or two. Do I have any announcements to make? Nothing besides, if you're late, if, you, if, you, if you're late, if you scooted in halfway through our stitch out and you missed the beginning where I announced that the stitch out, not stitch out, the D-Stash is going to be in It's So Sweet to Learn group on Friday, April 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but yeah, that's it's going to be in that group and I'll, y'all, let me tell you. So I have so much stuff. I did one D stash already and I still have so much stuff. And then I still bought some more. So what I decided, because someone talked me into, she's like, oh, you're like our personal shopper. So what I decided after being talked into it, when I go and I buy stuff like blanks for me, I just buy a bunch. And then when I get ready to do a D stash, I D stash to you all. So it happens. Um, I've been really busy with my new machine. Christine, post some projects you've been doing. Post some projects so we can see. Um, all right, Delphine, DM me and I will see you in a, or you said you'll DM me in a bit. Be safe. See you later. Uh, all right, is that all? Is that all we got? Our numbers are staying strong. We still got about 45 people on here, but um, I think it's time to hop off. This is what we did today. It is a waffle wrap. You can pair this with the um, with towels. You can pair it with the waffle cosmetic bag, all of that kind of stuff. All right, so thanks for joining me today. It was fun. We used our PE 800. We did tone on tone. The font was, was it? Who said it? Somebody, somebody mentioned the font above because I've been saying it wrong the whole time probably. Um, and that's it. I will see you all on Friday. Dawn says, hope everyone had a fabulous, pretty, and perfect week. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, uh, Susan, are you saying, are you asking if it's a hair wrap or are you suggesting a hair wrap also? Because if you're suggesting a hair wrap also, that's a very good idea. Like a, um, like one of those towel wraps to to do that or a bonnet yeah i sleep with a bonnet um but what was i saying so um and so i will see you all friday for the d stash if you all are able to make it and somebody just they put the shirley just put the font name in there again for me thank you so much and i will see the academy on tuesday susan says add a hair wrap good idea good idea i haven't seen any of those but really good idea um Yes, I did. I saw some at the dollar store. Um, but yeah, I'll see Academy. I'll see you on Tuesday and the stashers. I will see you on Friday and everyone else. I will see you on next Sunday for a so sweet Sunday, five o'clock. Okay. Eastern Standard Time. Remember you guys, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. Like so. All right. See you later. Bye.